Hi everybody, this is Joe from Gojira. You're watching BraveWords.com. Metal Tim from BraveWords.com speaking to Joe from Gojira. We're at day two on heavy Montreal in um, beautiful Montreal, Quebec. It's um, rather sweltering today. And you, being from France, this has to be some kind of a second home for you. Uh, yes, indeed, it is. Uh, we're very happy to be here. A bit jet lag, you know, because we are doing the European, like the usual stuff in Europe all, all, all summer. We're doing uh, shows in, uh, in Europe, and that's the only one in America, so it's a one off. And it, it's, it's a bit physical to cross the ocean for a show and then being jet lag, and I just ate. So I'm like, ah, but it was so good. The food was so good. What is the first thing you do when you get off the plane here? Um, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. But any cravings when you come to this um, mecca of metal and good food, lovely women, great booze? Um, you know, I, I really want to see Iggy Pop tonight. I, I'm, I'm happy. I love festivals in general, especially when we play a bit early and then we have time to uh, see the headliners and stuff. So, um, cravings. Oh, actually, I, w I would love to lie somewhere and take a little nap at some point before the show, but it's getting... It's getting a bit tight it's now. Tight. <laughs> now you're doing one-off live shows. Um, you've yeah. been pretty quiet um, on the recording and releasing front. So tell yeah. me about um, why you decided to get back on the road this year and future. Uh, you know, that's what we do. We tour and um, uh, it's really uh, rare for us to, to, um, to not tour in the summertime, you know, and uh, we have some great offers and uh, you know, this is our, this is what we do like for a living. So right. we can't stop playing for too long. Um, it doesn't sound really uh, romantic, what I'm saying right now, <laughs> or uh, exciting. But yeah, we have to, um, we have to make money. But so it's we been go on, on tour, and even if we would prefer uh, focus on the, focusing on the record, uh, sometimes we just gotta go. You know, we have to go on, uh, out on the road sometimes. And it's been a couple of years since you released new material, right? So yeah. it's um, fans are desperate. Why is it taking so long? Um, well, for me, it's not that long. You know, we have to recharge the batteries. You know, uh, the inspiration uh, has to be there to, to create new songs. We can't, we can't hurry that uh, process. You know, we, we really, uh, we, we have to, um, to, we gotta have something to say to, to make songs and to release an album. It's, it's not just a routine. It's, it, we gotta we gotta have something to put in. So it took us a, a while to uh, to feel what we what was the next step for us, uh, uh, album wise. You know. But Gojira is one of those few bands that try to keep reinventing the wheel. The fans know it. No, I mean you always there's always something special when yeah. that release date comes. Um, can you tell us anything about um, what's going through your minds musically? Yeah, you know, um, I'm I'm not doing uh, too many interviews these days because um, I I wouldn't know what to say really. It's it's a very weird uh, thing uh, to uh, to write new material because if, I don't know how it's gonna sound like or, or feel like yet. Even though we wrote everything and we we we're done recording the the drums and we're halfway into the guitars and basses, but still for me what what it's gonna sound like and, and feel like is still a mystery. It's it's very strange. It's just when the album is done, I can say, oh my God, it's so brutal, or wow, it's it's very ambient or mellow. It, it's 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 a weird thing, man. It's uh, uh, until it's done, I I can't really say. Um, well, of course, I could say some sure. things, <laughs> but um, uh, I can say I'm excited. You know, I'm very excited by, about the new songs and. Um, the, the direction of the vocals and uh, the riffs. I think it's more riff oriented than uh, the previous album. Okay. The previous album was more like atmospheres and melodies and uh, um, ambient and ambiance, des ambiances. Uh, I never know how to say this in English. What is it like? That's, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, see, you say it yeah. better in French than English. <laughs> Sounds more romantic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's full of ambiance, you know? Yeah. Like, like a, that's it. Uh, a so, like, there's, like, there's a part that will remind you, like, of a giant metal snake. Or like, but on the new record, it's more like riffs, you know? Like, it's, I want to say it's catchier. 
and um, it's it's a it's a natural organic thing that comes out of us you know where we we want riffs we want like simple drum patterns and and at the same time uh, some songs are very challenging uh, ryth rhythmically you know and uh, some patterns are really uh, really fucked up so it's it's interesting it's an interesting mix so what is inspiring you in 2015 inspiring you to write anything musically or the arts or what does inspire you you know things we go through in life and uh, you know addiction to to the music to this lifestyle and uh, pain you know like stuff like that uh, my brother and me we lost our mom not too long ago and that's like a big thing, D deepest you know? condolences from break this words is, this is going to be on the record a lot because not only uh, uh, the loss but also the, pro the process before that you know that was really really uh, long and painful and what when we were writing this album we were in the middle of all this so it's going to be full of that too and you know it's it's life death and life you know they're like they're but that's very riveting important. and very emotional stuff obviously yeah yeah it's very deep it's very important we uh, you know this music for, for us is like a, it's it's like a religion it's uh, it's our religion it's like it's this music so w when we uh, release a song, we really like it's something that it's a part of us that we release. So it's 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 a long process, you know. I don't know how bands can release an album every uh, year or every two years. It takes a bit more time for us, but but we like to think that every album is, is has a big impact, you know, for our fans. People who are following us, they will um, maybe give more importance to the listening on to, of the record. <laughs> it's a religion to us too, man. <laughs> yeah, so, music in general, right? Music in yeah, general, absolutely. Exactly, so exactly. can you give us a little timeline of um, when you're done recording, when this album might appear? Um, we, we wanted this record, this record to be released this year, you know, in a perfect world, but we got a bit overwhelmed with uh, all the things that happened to us and, uh, and the, the touring, we got a bit late. And um, I think it's going to be released early next year. I want to say March, April-ish, you know? Something like that. Well, congrats on the writing, and happy to see you guys back on the, on our shores. And um, yes. good luck with your travels, and good luck finishing the record. So can't wait to hear it. Cheers, Thank man. You. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to hear this record. <laughs> Thank you very much.